Are we up? Can anybody see me? Please help me out. Are we live? Hello out there. Oh my gosh. How's it going? Woo! Can you hear me okay? Sound good? Awesome. We'll see if anybody else uh, joins in the next uh, couple minutes here. How's it going, Matt? How you doing? Awesome. Good to hear. Good to hear. Man, this got was getting me all nervous. And I've I've streamed on Twitch once in a while, but that pressing that go live button like that, it was a little uh, a little nervous there. But anyways, yeah, I'm lucky enough. Well, I mean, I mean, I'm fortunate enough that uh, my wife is a nurse, so she's still working, able to work, and. Uh, I work for my mom's business as a, her designer um, during photography season, like in dance school season. But because uh, now that's happening, I don't have any of that work at all. So uh, just watching my kids and able to stay home, get things done around the house more. So, you know, and look at eBay a lot more <laughs> for, for cards. <laughs> Yeah, trying to trying to do a little more. I told my wife today. Um, I said I'm gonna because she's she worked the past two nights, so she's off the next couple nights. So told her I was gonna be on the computer for a little bit, and being creative, trying to be creative. But it's still a little tough to be creative right now, but because uh, you feel like you have to be because you got extra time. But, but yeah. So uh, anybody that's watching right now, go ahead and comment. Let's see uh, if you're ready to open up one, two boxes of the 2019 Major League Cross Trading Cards from Parkside Cards. Uh, I've had, I got my own box when they first came out, basically. And then my wife got me a box. Uh, for Christmas with the boys, where I got, she got the the special little box with the, uh, oh gosh, so sunny, the Lyle Thompson autograph, which is gorgeous. That that green sharpie on that card is is gorgeous for sure. But anyways, let's uh let's get a box open here. Let's start. Hope everyone's doing well, though. See, we got a few more people watching, at least. Ooh-wee. I don't know how I should do this. Should I show? I shouldn't show it. Like, I'll just kind of show uh, any of the cards I get, certain ones. Packs look like this. How many cards were in the pack? There's 20 packs in the box. Matt probably knows. Hey Tony, I can't say I can't say that what you said right there. I got I gotta say go hounds. Go hounds all day long. Eight per pack. Okay. Oh yeah, it says right there on the front. Why was I not looking at the front? Right there. <laughs> Here we go. And what am I looking? What did you say you wanted me to be looking for? I know you put on. What parts I want me to look for? Got a nice little Bryce Wasserman though. Bryce, good old Bryce. 
Ooh -wee. So we got the uh, Disruptor by Isaiah Davis Allen from the Bayhawks. That's a fun guy to watch right there. Any alumni signature. Got the big guy. Got Dylan Malloy right there. That black and white. Looks so nice. Where am I going to put this? Got to put this in here. How's it going, Tony? You uh, staying isolated as well? Will Sands. Will Sands. Tim Barber. He's a Charlotte guy. Well, like, you know, from Charlotte. Martin Bowes. Good old Coach Dave Cottle. 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 Dave Cottle. I'm still nervous. He was a fun coach to stand behind and heckle during the Hound Legion times. Got a former Hound here, Noah Rack. Nice, nice. Disruptor in the pack here, Kyle Jackson. I believe I have, I have all the disruptors. Let me put that one there. Self isolated in paradise. Nice. I know me and my family actually uh, we go outside a little more often now than we used to. It's nice to go on a family walk. I'm ready, to, I'm ready to hit one of those autographs for everybody. Oh, here's one of these guys. Here's an alumni guy, Jesse Schwartzman. Need to go ahead and just get a uh, send some of these out though to get get autographed myself. And we got the uh, gummy arts. I like this set. I just like I, don't, I like the like the little artist. I like uh, I follow Gummy Arts now because of this, but uh, I like seeing all his stuff. This is a uh, Nikki Galasso Gummy Arts insert right there. How many packs right down? That's three packs down. Right? Oh my gosh, it goes by so fast. It really does. Got another uh, guy that played for the Hounds for a little bit, Alex Zomerfeld. Boston. I don't remember where he went to right now. I feel like he's on a he's on a roster for next year, next season, or this season. Nice little Randy Stotts. Black and white of the. Uh, Isaiah Davis Allen. And then uh, Fabled Rob Pinnell. I've actually got in contact with Rob. Um, I have, um, I think, about a set of like five, five of his cards. But uh, I asked him when he gets a chance if I could uh, send him, send him some of the cards to have him sign those for me. We got a former hound here, Scott Hooper. Love seeing the hound stuff. Yeah, a pair of uh, Charlotte Hounds shorts that I wear up often right now. And my little one-year-old, he's always pointing at the hound's logo. He, he just likes the dog. But, you know, anyway, you got, got all the, the helmets that they've worn in the past. I had to get one of each type, at least. 
There you go. Bayhawks there. Steel Stanwick. Gummy Arts insert there. Tim Barber. For sure was good. Where is it? There he is. There's a good spot. Nice little Tim Barber there. I wonder how those guys felt about. Yes, Pinnell did say yes. He gave me as his address for me, which was where I mean he just replied back with his email or his uh his mailing address, but he did say yes. So you know I'll give it a try. Black and white of the Bryce Washington. I've become a fan of uh Bryce just because of the the way he's been on social media and stuff like that, the way he talks, so so uh become a fan of his. That's why I was went ahead and did that uh that swap. We did the same with Duncan. I just I uh where is that? The base cards. I just got a Duncan Clancy. I should show you some of the launch cards, shouldn't I? <laughs> totally. I know I saw them. I got PT Ricci here. Got PT. So how about um? There's no way. Like I don't know. I'm just wondering if we ever get to the point. I don't want it to get to that point with this in the sports. But what if MLL and PLL can't get to a point of having a season? Like, does someone like that made that choice, um, like Grant from PSU, can he go back? Because it's not like he's hiring a, an agent. Could he go back? I know it'd be a sixth year. Got one of my guys right here. That's my big dog right there, David Manning. Basically went down to Atlanta to a game just for him when uh, Boston played Atlanta. But we still had to represent. Ooh, every time I see a, um, an alumni, I'm hoping I'm going to see a signature there as well. We got a Roy Colsey alumni card. It'd be nice to see a uh, like throwback jersey like that again, I think. So if anybody by the MLL is seeing this, I think a all-star jersey that looks something like that, I think that'd be pretty decent looking. Just kind of, you know, upgrade it. Oh, Broken, get out of here. Get out of here. Cody from the Rattlers here, Disruptors. Brogan, thanks for stopping by, though. Water dogs. Name somebody on the water dogs, Brogan. Do it. I mean, it's probably pretty easy. You know who's going to do well, though, in uh, Riptide? We're the best unis. Yeah, I like the Riptide. I like... I just enjoy purple with sports teams a lot of times. So, I mean, I do enjoy the War Dogs colors, but uh, I enjoyed the Dragons also. But Riptide, yeah, that, those colors, it's like, I guess, like the Islanders colors, basically, pretty close. Redwoods, Grant. Grant doesn't have a team yet. They haven't done a collegiate draft yet. But I know you'll go for you. You just need to cheer for Grant anyways. I just, with the PLL, of course, because I'm just like kind of like a Hounds fan, I just am cheering for my guys that played with the Hounds. Like, I'm gung ho for them. So I was happy for all my guys that, thank God, Max stayed. Yeah. I mean, I feel like a lot of, I feel like a lot of people are going to stay in the NCAA. Got Ryan Tucker for Bayhawks, Ben Williams. 
Now that's a name I hadn't heard much. He went to the PLL player pool, correct? Tony, I know you cheer for X launch too. You're gonna be like you're gonna be like me. Cheer for your X players that you enjoyed. There you go, Nick Mariano. He's a guy right there. Nick Marion. Man, where's the wish I had like a good camera. This is just with my one Mac. But boomer. Boomer. Oh, we got got a couple of in here. We got so we got Max Adler, the black and white. And then we got a disruptor. New York Lizards, Thomas Zanker. And, uh, ooh, <laughs> look at that. I, I mean, that looks just like the picture he just posted on Twitter recently, or, or someone posted about the haircuts. Mikey Schlosser, Michigan alum, which I go for Michigan as well. I'm born up in Michigan. A lot of my family's up in Michigan, so I uh, I enjoy Michigan State and, and University of Michigan, even though I'm not supposed to. Yes, the stash, the hair, the goodness, that hair. I'm waiting for I'm waiting for autograph. Colin Heacock. That's a card. That's a that's a dude right there. Jesse Bernhardt heading to the PLL though. Best of luck to him. Ooh, nice, nice. We got the vintage. I like these vintage. I like the I like the way this looks. But I got Nick Morocco. Guy yeah, I've gotten to talk to a couple times. But I like I like the, the vintage ones. Got a cross ball for the autographs. I might have to send. I might have to send some of these kind of out to uh, to some kids or to some teams. Just send those out. Um, see if anybody wants those. Black and white. The Kyle Denhoff. Denhoff. And uh, alumni Greg Catrano, goalie from the Bayhawks. Go blue, Brogan. Go blue. I even, you know, still blue. Blue all day long. Although I, I do like the um, our gold helmets because they were different, but when they switched to that blue, it just looks so nice. Yeah, that's like, um, oh, if Matt's still around, Matt might know. The, they say um, if they have a season. Do they say the um, the complimentary game ticket ones are those are those going to be available for people to use um, this season if they have season? I hear someone that cut his his mane. Liam Burns cut that thing off. Our helmet signed. Um, two of them are. The first one is um, the Pro 7. I think it's signed by mostly, I want to say, people that played during the second season or the end of the first season, I think. Okay. Good, Matt. Thank you. Yeah, I... Uh, have some of those, so I'll probably end up uh, offering those to to teams, or do, or maybe uh, do a giveaway here and there. Uh, maybe use the Hound Legion account because that's what I'm just trying. You know, although I guess Charlotte Mello can't really tweet from their account, I want to try personally. You know, keeping the Hound's name around just so so. Uh, yeah. Where could a young guy like you get some cards? You want to you want a box of these? 
go to Parkside Cards and get you a box. That's what you do. Paul Cantabean, alumni, word. Yes, there we go. From is that still where I just saw that you were using it? That was a good. I mean, it was a heck of a deal. And it got here from across the country in really no time at all. See, now is this one that could be autographed? Can this one be autographed right here? Casey Powell. I'm just going to have to ask Casey. I'm just going to be like, hey, Casey, I'm going to send this to you. Yeah, I mean, it got here pretty quick. I, I was expecting just with everything going on, like it wouldn't be like immediate, you know, maybe like a couple days later than I expected. But yeah, they got here. I was just like, woo. But then I was like, I needed to figure, I wanted to figure out a way just to, to make some kind of video instead of just opening them up by myself. But I thought this would be a, a fun way. Mark Matthews. That's a, that's a that's a picture right there. That guy is big. And like I'm a big guy. But the, I mean he is he's a big guy. Like when you just see him on on the field against the other other players. It's crazy. Oh, there we go. There's a lot of uh, a lot of these alumni are actually from like Bayhawks, kind of feel like there's a decent amount of Bayhawks alum. I mean, uh, great players, obviously. Here was one of my favorite. This guy, he uh, took care of us. The couple of the Hounds fans that came down last year uh, to a game, he took care of us. So that was fun. I'm 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 trying to I'm trying. Got a fabled Zach Greer. Every time I think about Zach Greer, though, I think about the NLL game where he got absolutely nailed. That was rough. Where I put my other fable? I gotta pull. I gotta pull some one in these two boxes, don't I? I got to. I have to. All I know is I'm I'm we'll see. I'm hoping that um I sent I sent a group of like Bayhawks cards along with the steel uh steel Stanwick um jersey relic. I sent that off to the Bayhawks. And then the person I sent it to, she was leaving. I think you know where Tony, maybe Heather. So uh she was leaving with the Bayhawks, and so I told Tom. So I said, Tom, please make sure my cards are safe. <laughs> I want that Steel Stanway autographs. Yeah, Adam Ozika from the Hounds right there. I like this card. I like the way this one looks. I like just that green on there. Nikki Glosso. That's one thing I'm jealous of all the time. Like when I worked with the Hounds, like it's fun. Like I enjoy working with the blue, but uh, working with like black and green. Mm. That's Ryan Ryan Keenan, Gummy Arts card. A man JoJo. I'm kind of jealous of this card here. We just need to have an alumni Hound Legion card. Then we got two black and whites right here. We got Nick Morocco black and white. And Randy Stotts, I believe. Yeah, Randy Stotts. Yeah, I like the Albany guys. Again, I uh, 
I just, I don't know. I have a thing about just some purple jerseys. <laughs> I don't know why. There you go. Here's a Mikey Schlosser. Just the hair flowing. As uh, with the rat, the guy that was with the Rattlers, Eli Slama. He's got a nice. There we go. There is one right here. Ready for it? It's an autograph. He has moved to the PLL. Who is it? What guesses we have? Any guesses? Miles Joe. No. We've got Zeddy Ballgame Williams. I am not sure that is the one I had. Let's see. Let me go through here. Nope, that's my first Ed Williams. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yes. Yeah, he, he's one of those players for sure. Close enough. <laughs> Miles Jones. No, he went to the ML before. That's why you will not find any of these. We got a uh, Chris Eck, one of the better face-off men of ML history for sure. We got a uh, Rob Pinnell, black and white there. That stick is right in that neck, though. <laughs> Disruptor, Noah Rack. You have three of those in. Ooh. Yeah, that's a nice, that's a nice looking uh, signature too. Photo selection is fun. <laughs> I do the same thing. Like I'm sitting there thinking about design stuff, and I'm just like, man, what do I want to use this picture? Oh, there we go. There's a. I don't think I had this Rob Pinnell hyped. I'll stick that with that set of Rob Pinnells that I send out. Dill Malloy's signature. That's a thing. Yeah. Are there, are there any ideas of possibilities? Or are they waiting? Oh, here we go. I consider this a relic, right? In it. The fake Tom Mariano. <laughs> yeah, that uh, that Rob Pinnell hyped is good. I that's not there's not enough there's not enough when I'm looking for pictures and like you know you see like soccer graphics or football graphics, basketball graphics like you see emotion in a lot of pictures, good pictures. But there's one thing that, like, when I'm looking through so much MLL pictures, there's just not a whole lot of, like, celebratory pictures. I'm not sure why. And there's a lot of good – I mean, there's been a lot, lots of pictures. Like, I, I enjoy being able to, to go through all the, the pictures that they have. There you go. Here's my guy, Kevin Crawley, big cat. I think the sun's changing outside. There we go. Kevin Crawley, big cat. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That there's like not a bunch of like getting pumped pictures. Ben Williams, disruptor.
I'm still sad. I'm still very sad that you guys were not able to get um, a hornet. I mean, a, a hornet. Woo! A hound's jersey from them before before it, it all went down. Ah, bro, they they still get hype, Rogan. I just don't think there's a bunch of of good pictures of it for some reason. I was like, I always want a good, like, excited picture. You did beg. Maybe I'll have. See, but I don't have like a authentic one that I would want to send out because I've gotten they would they used to like auction them off after the end of each season, so I would try and buy one every season. And then Kevin sent me his, uh, which is nice enough. There goes another Michigan alum right there, Mike Hernandez. <laughs> John Grant Jr. Jr. right there. That's a good one right there. Those, those those celebrations are the guys that don't get any playing time. You know it. You're not going to do that on the field. Ooh, Tommy Palasek. I like him. I like him. There we go. Here's... The Rob Nell base. There goes Zach Courier. Liam Burns, Gummy Arts. <laughs> Two alumni right here. Kevin Lavelle. And Nikki Polanco. Towards the end of their career, Nikki Polanco and uh, Ryan Spelina, they were some of my favorite to just try and get riled up because they were crazy. They were absolutely crazy. That's a nice one right there. Lyle Thompson fabled. He's he's probably somebody that I would like to try my best and get in contact with about autograph in some way. Oh baby, I see something. See something. See something. But we got a Brian Phipps. He's a good guy right there, I like Brian. Here we go. I don't know how it happened. Ready for this? Ready, ready. I might, I might have to send this up to, to the Bayhawks as well. And that's, uh, it's got a nice little three color patch going on there. That's a good one. And then look who it is, Brian Spelina, right there. It is pretty. It is pretty. I, I like. I like jersey cards. It's like uh, now that I've been like looking, like I'm not trying to collect people that I just can't afford, you know, for no reason, like on. But I'm been looking for just some cards of like my hometown teams like the Hornets and the Panthers and even looking for the Hurricanes um, hockey cards. But any, any Jersey cards, like they look really nice. Let me see if uh, they are. They're so fun to get anything like that. 
don't think it's going to fit in there. I'm just going to have to keep it in there. It's nice. There it is again. There's only 50 of each of these. Now, how does it feel cutting those jerseys up? Hey, I've, I, I have a couple on my watch list on eBay of uh, some Cam Newton. Now, here's something we haven't really gotten. Are you guys, uh, you guys, uh, like, credit the photographer on there, too? That's pretty nice. He, um, I don't know what the, exactly to call it, but this insert where it's, like, through the camera lens, it's pretty cool. That's a nice one. I like that picture. Viewfinders. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> that was a good catch there, Tony. Good catch. <laughs> Lee Zink. That's a good guy right there. We got a fabled Steel Stanwick. We got a Disruptor's Ed Williams. Disruptor's Ed Williams here. Matt Abbott. That's a guy. Like, just, you will hardly ever hear anybody talking about him. And he is absolutely probably one of the best players in lacrosse. Yeah, Tony, who's some other who's some other autographs you would like to see in the future? Got Nico Amato. I see a mascot. My boy Blue. Kevin Crowley base right there. I think I use that. I think I have that picture cut out, actually. <laughs> Mark Cockerton, Gummy Arts. That one looks pretty good. I like that one. It's an empty box. It's one empty box. Let me think. I'm trying to think. I'm thinking like... Challen Rogers. Justin Ray, he's a good he's a good one. Is he still he's with the lizards.
Have I pulled a Crawley? I have not. Like an autograph or just the uh, base card I pulled a Crawley. Yeah, John Grant would be a great – I think John Grant, if you're able to do a jersey of John Grant, like with with an auto, like something like that, like ooh-wee. I don't know. I mean, I'm just talking. I have not pulled a Crawley auto, but I have two Crawley autos. You got a box, Brogan? Heck yeah. There you go. Look at that. Influence. Just influence. Nice, nice. Well, I'm a, I'm a huge Hounds fan. And Crawley was one of my guys. He sent me this uh, personally. And he's probably he's probably on this this R helmet, maybe. But welcome. Thanks for coming in. Got a Dylan Ward vintage. I like, like I said, I like that uh, the vintage set. One of my favorite, like, first year hounds, Steven Berger. That guy had energy. Disruptors, Frank Brown. I like the, the blue and the black on that one. Here we go. What's going to happen to this box? <laughs> I know. I thought about it too, Tony. I thought about it too. Maybe if, if they... Uh, I don't know what uh, what's the stock like over there, man. I hope I hope you guys are doing doing okay. Hope I hope some new people have bought. Yeah, another Roy Colsey. Still, that just that just uh, pops out at me. Cody again from the Rattlers here for disruptors and a lacrosse ball. I uh, that was one thing with being being who we were as the Hound Legion. Um, it was always nice. Like we would have some. I would. I started buying like some balls, and uh, I would get like because at the end of the games, of course, everyone wants to sign stuff, and so I would give a couple kids that were near us that might have been chanting with us. Uh, I would give them like a ball once in a while. Greg Catrano again, Mark Millen. Do it, Tony. Just do it. There we go. Challen Rogers. I think he I I I uh I think he'd be a good auto auto. Graham Bocklet. That's what I didn't see in the, that last box, I don't think. There we go. The bear. It was always a pleasure to, to talk to in Charlotte. Go rock, go. Ryan McNamara. As I, I, I'm hoping there's a season. I can't wait. I want to, you know, just do some of my fan art with with a new picture, new jerseys and stuff like that. Underdog um, in NLL, just because I, I like to cheer for teams close by, I have to go with uh, the Swarm. We've been to a few games. Got another fabled Zach Greer there. And disruptor no rack.
That's okay. Yeah, you know, I'm trying to trying to get a NLL to come to Charlotte too. James Fahey. There you go, another hound. Danny Sweeney. Nice little hounds cards here. Oh, dang. Got another viewfinder. Rob Pinnell. It's funny, I'm adding, uh, I'm adding more cards to the, the set I'm sending him. Nice, nice. Ooh, we got uh, Tim Gettleman here, alum. And Matt Bocklet, the boss now, right? That's what I'm. I always like to put because I I enjoy the cards. I enjoy lacrosse. That's why I keep pushing Parkside. I mean, I know Parkside. I know you guys are are looking into as many people as you can work with. So, but I I love to. Robbie is going to be busy with me. <laughs> but yeah, I like to push that anybody. Like I I would love to see the cards for for PLL for NLL. You know, I know you guys would too. Got another junior here. Jun junior would probably be a guy. Uh... Yeah, that's why it was pretty cool that because uh, there was a someone tweeted out that they had a card of the commissioner, the NLL commissioner from when he was with in soccer, and uh, he tweeted out about it. And so. You know, us and a couple other people tweeted him saying, here goes another hound, Jake Withers. We tweeted at him saying, you know, got to work Parkside. Another uh, person heading over to the PLL, Eli Gobrick. He was a guy that um, when I saw him in play against Charlotte one time, I was, I was definitely, he was someone that I was like, whoa, he's aggressive. So I like the way he played. And I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching, though. This is awesome. This is a, this has been fun. It's something different for sure. Will Sands, Tim Barber. We got a nice little complimentary game. Shane Jackson, he's a guy. I wish he would have uh, been able to play more with when the Hounds, but that was, you know, maybe back when, maybe if back then there wouldn't have been as much overlap with NL indoor and stuff like that. Maybe it would have been different. Did you enjoy seeing these broken? Like, I mean, it's pretty cool. Like, you know, I was definitely in that age. Like, when I would, my mom would, you know, take me and my brother to a card collector's store near our house when we were kids. We'd go in there, and I was a big Grant Hill fan. Like, being from Michigan, and just he was someone with the Detroit that I enjoyed watching. So, uh, I I got a lot of Grant Hill stuff. So going back now and looking, I've been looking at them, and then I've been like looking at cards for um, just for my for my hometown teams now. So, but these have been nice. I like I like having MLO cards. Pretty cool. I hope you get something good though, Brogan. Baseball was the go-to. See, but I've never, I've just, 
I don't know. I've just never been a baseball guy. I don't know what I think it's just when I was a kid and like I couldn't be bored and like standing in the field just bored me. So like that immediately, I think when I was young, kind of just like was like, eh. Yeah, I am in my second box. Underdog. Got another fabled uh, Thompson there. Thompson. And a disruptor of uh, Zed Williams. Zed Williams. Zeddy ball game. On his way to the PLL. Yes, my mom said the same thing. Like, that's why she would catch or pitch. There you go, uh, Tony. Justin Ray. There we go. He, he, he's a guy that just looks like he has swagger with that, that black and green, his hair, that those helmet. Like, that's a helmet. Like, if I'm going to get another team's helmet, I want that one. That uh, black and and green. Mr. Nico Amato again, Gummy Arts. Kyle Jackson, Disruptor. He's a guy that's doing a lot on social media. Another Jesse, Jesse Schwartzman. And Gummy Arts, Nikki Galasso. You know what? I'm thinking... Bryce Wasserman would be a good. We got we got we got an alumni John Head S and a Tim Barber Florida Lunch Gummy Arts. Hello oh, there. Black and white, Bryce Wasserman. See, now it's like, I know with uh, intuitively cards would be tough. Yeah, I know, that's what, I'm not sure how it works, but I do see, like now that I'm looking, like you, there are NCAA cards, but, you know, upper deck and tops and Panini, I'm sure they got a lot of, uh, a lot going on. Oh, what did I say? What did I say? What's the name I just said? Where'd my things go? I'm getting under the trash here. What name did I just say? That I wanted or was thinking about autograph wise. And it's one I don't have. And it's on, man. There you go, Matt. You got it. That's nice. Woo wee. That's clean with the having been from the the game with the black helmets, with the black jerseys. So that I mean that's lucky, because you I mean with with a couple of things I've been sent and then I got gotten one from uh Todd Tobias when I won his Randy Stotts thing so I got that I got that is your initials Brogan and your number look at that's your signature right there Brogan that's that's you 
That's your future. Keep trying. Keep playing. So that's uh, that's nice that two my two autos have been two that I have not yet gotten. What luck! What luck! I don't even know what what other cards were in there. Did I put them down? Put them down. Just saw the the auto and was like, boom. Got Spencer Ford alumni right there. You just got the Bryce off eBay. I did not see Bryce on eBay. I've been looking once in a while just to see what people are putting up. Because always it is nice just to know that that they're going up on there too, and maybe maybe people are looking. Got another, you know, maybe you think Boomer will auto that for me? You think if I send that to Boston? Another uh, disruptor, Tom Zanker. Okay, Boomer. Ah, oh, that's one I don't think I've seen yet today. CJ Costabile out of Duke. Disruptor, Justin Pennington. Kind of sad that Atlanta uh, got moved. I mean, I, I understand a lot of the, the situation and just try and think optimistically and, like, think that people know what they're talking about more than I do. But it stinks not having a closer team now, at least. There you go, underdog. Well, Crawley fabled. Get getting nervous here. Mikey Schlosser, Casey Powell again, vintage or alumni, alumni. It's crazy to see him play the last couple seasons with the launch and how good he could still be out there. It's crazy. Same going with Junior, obviously. Ah, there we go. Cal Durth. I like watching him. Uh, Max Adler. Just re-signed with Denver. Nice. Watch me, watch me pull it towards the end here. Oh, I got one more pack. I got one more pack. You think it'll happen? Colin Hehock. You ain't got one. Jesse Hubbard. I got um, a pair of those Mac Daddy gloves, Pride. Signed by Kyle Harrison. Those are nice to have. Here we go. It's the last pack. Thank you guys for uh, for coming by, watching, chatting. Got the nice... Wild Thompson right on the front, though. That's a nice, I like that picture on that one. I like that picture. Eric O'Brien, Adam Osika. Got that. And a JoJo War Drummer. Yeah. Got a Ryan Keenan. Gummy Arts. And Nick Morocco. Black and white. Black and white. 
So yeah. I'm glad you liked it, Matt. I I appreciate uh you guys for sure. So we're able to see let's show these three. Nice. I love Chaz Woodson. He was he was someone fun to watch. So we got we got show off here again. Got the Zed Williams auto. We got the Bryce Wasserman auto. That looks nice though, because I, I just like the having the black jersey, black helmet with the black auto with the blue. Looks really nice. Looks good. Jojo will sign. I'm sure I'll see Jojo again one day. Cause I'm, I'm, you know, I'll, I'll probably go. Well, I'm, I don't know. Who knows? Cause Denver, like it, everything's got to go well, I think. And so Denver doesn't have to move either. And then we got the uh, steel Stanwick Jersey relic with the three colors, which is always nice to get like that. I like to see that. So that looks nice. I do not do these often, Underdog. Uh, I don't really collect a lot of cards. It's just uh, being a lacrosse, being a MLL fan, lacrosse fan, uh, been able to buy these. They did not come with the sleeve. I I have bought sleeves for myself for when I do have some cart because um, I just recently just I just like bought a pack of basketball cards recently or not recently, just a while back. Just because I was like, ah, I'm at Target. I'll buy a pack of basketball cards. And I happened to get a John Morant rookie. <laughs> so I've, I've just had a, a thing. No, no, not any JJ Reddick. See, I used to be, used to be a big, big collector back in the day. So these are back when I was a kid, right here. I just have Grant Hill, Grant Hill, <laughs> just just all over, just Grant Hill. So I don't have a lot of my other stuff from when I was a kid. I, I, I think when I was getting ready to go to college and stuff, I think I was, uh, I just sold so many cards. And that's the thing that stinks nowadays is people are getting into cards again. And, uh, who knows what I had? You know, I probably had stuff, especially from that era of the 80s and 90s. Uh, you know, who knows what could what I could have had. My mom, uh, she had two Kobe Bryant rookie cards. They're not like, I don't think they were like the great rookie cards that people want, but she still has two Kobe Bryant rookie cards that, you know, could be worth something. But yeah, but again, Thanks, guys. That was a fun – that was an hour. What an hour of this. That was fun, opening two boxes, talking to people. Um, maybe – I don't know. Maybe we'll see. See what we can do. Maybe open another box again one day. Or if we're able to have 2020 boxes. Hopefully. We'll see what happens in the world. But – yeah, I'll probably keep the Kobe. They were my mom's, and then she just was tired of moving her stuff, so I'll probably end up keeping some of her stuff. But yeah. Bye, Brogan. Thanks for watching, though, and thanks for buying a box. Bought a box. I hope you get something out of it. But, yeah, I'll uh, clean up here, and uh, hope everyone has a good weekend. Yeah, it was active. I appreciate you guys. I'll catch you uh, another time. Hey, hey, I'll uh, I'll uh, go to your channel and follow you as well, and uh, stop by if I get a chance. You guys take it easy. Later.